Hi, I'm Bill Felber with CZAD. We're at the 8th International Conference on Emerging Zoonoses. I'm speaking with Dr. Adolfo Garcia Sastre. He is a professor of medicine and microbiology and co-director of the Global Health and Emerging Pathogens Institute at the Icon School of Medicine in Mount Sinai in New York City. He is noted for his research into the biology of the influenza virus, and particularly for his 2005 reconstruction of the virus that caused the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. That pandemic infected more than 500 million people worldwide and resulted in between 50 million and 100 million deaths. Dr. Garcia Sastre, I really appreciate your taking time to visit with us today. Can you tell us, how were you able to replicate the 1918 virus? Well, um you know, that was a combination of different techniques that became available at this time. Um, one of them is the ability to generate influenza viruses from plasmid DNA, what we call reverse genetics. And these are techniques that they were developing in my lab in collaboration with Josh Brownlee and Peter Palese. And with these techniques, we can now make from plasmid DNA any influence virus as far as we know the sequence. So what we needed then, the next thing we needed is the sequence of the 1918 virus. And this virus didn't exist, but when it existed and still is around, are pieces preserved from tissue of people that died in 1918 of influenza virus. And specifically from the lungs, it's still possible to recover, not the virus, but the sequence of the virus was possible to sequence it. And this technological advance in ability to sequence from tissue allowed the generation of the sequence by our collaborator, Jeff Taubenberg. Now, having the sequence, having reverse genetics techniques, synthetic DNA can be made, and through the reverse genetics techniques, the virus can be rescued. That was what done in collaboration with the CDC and the high bio containment to prevent what do you believe were the most important discoveries about the flu that resulted from your work on that 1918? Well, before the virus was reconstructed, the specific reasons for the high disease and the high people associated with this virus was not complete, were not completely understood. Now we know much more about the virus. We know that there were specific virulence determinant factors that contributed to the virus to be more virulent than the uh, normal influenza virus. And that was done through studies in animal models. Uh, we know that it's a mixture of different virulence factors that the virus has. And as this mixture is a very rare event that is unlikely to occur again. It may happen, but it's a very, very unlikely event. So viruses like the 1918 virus, with the high virulence that they have for humans, are very unlikely to be generated by nature. It's just by chance that this happened to be a extremely virulent virus where multiple virulence factors were put together by nature and resulted in this virus. Um, the other thing we know, we, we learned, is that despite the high virulence, the virus is still able to be prevented by vaccines and is able to be also treated with existing antibodies. What should those of us who are not scientists know about ongoing research in the well, I think the most important thing is to, uh, that people should realize that influenza is a devastating disease for um, humans. So, in general, people don't think influenza is a bad disease. It's, uh, they associate influenza with a cold, maybe to have some fever, some coughing, and that's it. But the truth is that Influenza kills a lot of people every year. It's not the majority of the people, but there is always people, especially people with some preconditions, could be age, could be obesity, could be cardiovascular problems, that have an infection with influenza, they die. And then it's extremely important for us to figure out why some individuals are more likely to have severe disease with influenza or not, and how we can better uh, be able to uh, stop the death toll that this virus is causing. Thank you. Well, Dr. Garcia Sastre, I really appreciate you taking the time to visit with us today. 
for CZAD, I'm Bill Felber at the 8th International Conference on Emerging Synopsis. Thank you very much.